if you're interested in this sticker, tweet me and I will send you to this uh, insomnia sticker. Looks like this. It's a Kong insomnia coffee. You know, it's what we do uh, every night. So uh, I work at Quonk as a principal developer advocate, wrote a few books, one over there on the JavaScript uh, enterprise web development, and I wrote a book about Kafka. Um, but today we're going to be talking um, not about slides. I'll try to go into the demo. So Insomnia. Uh, this is the tool. Uh, by the way, how many of you, does anyone use Insomnia before? Like, or is the first time you? Nice. Okay, you need a sticker. <laughs> so Insomnia, essentially, it's the uh, kind of like this IDE for testing all sorts of the APIs. Um, and uh, you can go there, um, just like type uh, your URL and just click send, and after that you get the response, right? How many of you are using uh, curl for testing your APIs? How many of you are using HTTP? 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 No? What are you using for testing APIs? Which one? GRPC. GRPC, it's API, but what do you use for the GRPC curl? What do you use? So Insomnia has the ability to do this in one place. This is a reason why I like to do this myself, because I want to, I, I can have this in one place. I can have my REST stuff. I can go and uh, create some like a GRPC request, uh, uh, GraphQL request, and all these type of things. So like a simple example, I have my simple service. Uh, that will be a return list of uh, the Kong products. And uh, this is uh, actually runs um, in open internet. If you will go to apiops.kongproxy.me slash GraphQL, uh, you will be able to hit this one. But, you know, it's a, it's a post request. Um, so we need to send this uh, here, and uh, I can send multiple different requests. So cool thing about Insomnia, it understands um, schema immediately, so you can get this schema, and after that you can get stuff like auto-completion, which is, you know, what you expect from ID, right? So it will do the thing for you, um, and it will understand what kind of uh, properties you're putting there, like a type or like a description. Description, so, and after that we can send this. So, um, Insomnia has um, this um, low level things. You can always uh, go and check uh, what is available there. For example, headers for this HTTP request, you can see what is coming here. So in this particular case, header says which pod name it goes from the, uh, from the Kubernetes. And also a very cool thing is when you're investigating and you're trying to figure out like what the hell is going on and if it's a connection broken or my application is not working, something like that, it has this like a timeline thing. So uh, that's intro to Insomnia. We're done with this now. And I also showed you some of the GraphQL things. Uh, let me show you one more thing. So uh, with Insomnia, you can also do um, requests that require some of the parameters. So I have a service that will um, request some of the Kong products. And I need to provide the type of the product. So for example, if I'm interested only on open source technology that we do, I can do this here because here I have a parameter, and here I can inject this parameter into um, into Insomnia. It only will return uh, only open source projects. So that's for uh, some of the stuff that you can do for GraphQL. Also, I can um, I can put the arbitrary queries here, um, like whatever you are expecting here. You can put some additional uh, headers if you will be um, doing this type of things in your application. Now. So uh, Insomnia also can understand uh, automatically in fierce uh, schema from, uh, from uh, your uh, GraphQL thing and also allow you to show some documentation. So for example, here right now, I'm actually introspecting some of the API that's available from the SpaceX. How many of you knew that they have a GraphQL API? Wow, I thought I thought I would be okay. So let me share this stuff with the people on the meetup, and everyone knows this. No one knows this. Okay, so it is it is it is a thing. So the SpaceX have um, SpaceX uh, have a GraphQL API server, so you can go and uh, see all this type of stuff. So see, you you learn something useful today. You can get information about the rockets here. Um, and uh, the uh, like, if you if you go in here, you can do things like if you're not interested in getting full result uh, in Insomnia, you can put this like a JSON path type of thing. You can go into data. Uh, what was the data rockets? 
uh, the rockets and you can get like a shorter version of the of this thing and you can put the description um, it's it's like cli uh, client side kind of filtering description can you do that uh, rockets uh, it's a it's an array we can do this description for example number one um, also um, you can do this one of the things that we can see here in this particular case I, I I'm not hitting this API directly I'm hitting this API um, through uh, some cache service because uh, I like to have ability to uh, maybe not um, uh, abuse some sort of some API public API and will be like a rate limited so I put a little bit caching on the side thing so this is what um, we do at Quonk, we, we build this uh, solution called API Gateway that can do uh, things for your application if you don't have access to the code. For example, in this particular case, I don't have access to uh, SpaceX API code. However, I can cache some of the responses, and this is right now stored inside my Quonk Gateway side of things. Um, we talk a little bit about uh, uh, Insomnia for REST and GraphQL. Insomnia has a companion tool called uh, Inso. So, and this is something that you're actually running somewhere around your CI. So everything that you develop here, everything that you develop, these um, different uh, requests, different um, um, uh, calls to different uh, pieces of your infrastructure, you can actually write a test. Insomnia support this uh, JavaScript framework called Mo Mocha, and it uses assertions from Chai library. Anyone using this? For, okay, cool. So, you, so in this case, you know this. Uh, you can put the code here, and after that, you can run this test inside Insomnia. It will be executed. Now, once you're ready, you're done with your design of these things, you can share this in your GitHub. And after that, you can run this uh, kind of like a GitHub action with uh, Inso, which is going to be selecting this guy. And I will say, I have multiple different environments, and Insomnia allow me to substitute some of the, um, some of the URLs with environments. So for example, I have this environment that up and running. Just run this one test. The way how it looks in Insomnia side of things, I have a bunch of different environments. Um, local environment, obviously local host. There's no place like local host. Um, the Open API. Uh, environment, so it's a, like a publicly deployed uh, API thing that you can go and play around. Uh, sometimes when uh, DNS is failing me, it's always good to put the IP address here. So all these things for me just need to switch here and I will be able to use this in my in my calls. For example, here it's a base URL that will be getting from um, from this environment. So that's the, uh, that's the cool thing that you can design this in the UI and after that, um, running this with this uh, Inso tool. Uh, for GraphQL, um, it's, um, we're still kind of like adding like more features, but like for, if you're doing like standard REST stuff, we also supporting like open API spec. We support um, different, uh, some of the linting stuff. Like if you go in into say open API spec um, and you're doing something like, it's cool that like GraphQL already has this tooling and has all these things built in for the gra for the Open API and the rest. We still need to you know come up with some external linters and all these kind of things. But like if I will go here and say it's gonna be like this, so Insomnia also will be detecting this and saying hey it needs to be kind of like a string thing and things like that. So it's also a part of this ID and um, uh, also like for Open API spec that can. Um, uh, kind of render this um, documentation, render all these things uh, from your specification, same way as we did for um, for documentation for um, for Open API, uh, for GraphQL. So we can have this. Uh, this is something that I have in my schema. Schema is deployed on the server, and this API, uh, this uh, documentation was fetched as a part of the schema. Um, uh, as a part of the schema. So uh, we can also do local uh, schema loading. That's that's the thing. Now, with API, API, API ops, um, there is a GitHub action. Like, if you need to run, you don't need to install this uh, inso yourself. There is a kind of like a GitHub action, say, it, like use inso. Now, the beauty of Insomni actually is not in the product itself, but in the uh, ecosystem of the plugins. So, if you go into the plugin hub, you can find all sorts of different plugins here available. Um, and uh, there's a bunch of themes, for example, uh, uh, Dracula, where is it? Uh, 
Dracula. Yeah, so for example, very popular um, night theme for, for your application. There's tons of different plugins. We're going to be using one of the plugins that someone uh, in community developed called uh, GraphQL Code Gen Import. So essentially what it does, it actually goes into GraphQL um, server, into schema, and generates all available uh, operations uh, inside Insomnia. So all mutations, or queries, and subscriptions, all these things uh, will be available here. So if I go here, I already have this plugin installed. Um, installation is pretty easy. I just need to put this node package here and uh, this uh, GraphQL code gen already installed. So if I go ahead here and say um, code gen from, uh, from URL, and from this, I uh, will take a uh, very popular API for GraphQL. How many of you knew that there's a Rick and Morty GraphQL API? Okay, so, so today is a day of uh, exploration, right? So you, you need to go home, um, test the SpaceX API using Insomnia, and test Rick and Morty API. So queries, we can get the characters queries, and all these things was just generated from uh, on the fly from the uh, from the schema, um, and we can see, for example, ID is gonna be Rick, uh, and if I will go here and put the ID ID equals one or should be one, and uh, should get the uh, Rick information from this. Yep. For example, I can do all this stuff. I don't need, it's just too much. Um, oops. And the cool thing that uh, you know, you'll have the, the code completion, all this kind of stuff. So it's <laughs> alive, which is uh, like, which rig is alive? We don't, we don't know because there's many rigs, right? There's a whole, uh, uh, the, whole universe of different tricks. Um, same thing we can do for, say, um, if I will just do from URL and do uh, mm -hmm. SpaceX. Um, SpaceX has like a very uh, rich uh, API that you can do here. Um, this is how you can explore and go click around instead of like when you, when you don't know uh, what the API does or like what kind of parameters you can put here. You can use the code generation, which is um, kind of cool, like subscription for some of the aggregated details and so all, 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 all sorts of stuff here. Okay, plugins. So to try this Insomnia, just go to uh, insomnia.rest. Um, insomnia.rest, that's, uh, that's the URL. It's totally free. There's some enterprise features that we are building um, they are more on kind of like a collaboration in terms of like we hosting your project information. But like if you want to use collaboration through the Git, it's totally free. Just, you know, use this one. Um, you can pull up your, um, bring some of the Git repository and do synchronization of Insomnia there. Um, I did a whole uh, workshop about how to use Insomnia and use this uh, approach called API Ops. We're starting with this API first design approach uh, to the designing the systems and uh, going from there to generate code for application, deploy this application. Um, and after that, um, using the um, uh, technology that I just showed with this, uh, uh, with Kong, we can enable different plugins. We can enable like rate limiting for GraphQL. We can enable uh, caching. So for example, this, um, this uh, SpaceX um, API that I'm hitting here, uh, protected by uh, my uh, caching plugin. So I'm going there and hitting there um, and uh, say like enable this uh, caching plugin for all my calls. Um, that's the part of the API ops the, and the uh, GraphQL is a part of the API also um, great, uh, great tool to explore. So give me uh, please, uh, promise to try Insomnia today, explore Rick and Morty API and explore SpaceX API. Um, I will, I, I always available on Twitter if you have any, um, any questions. Also, I am running uh, some sort of like a bi-weekly, uh, like two, 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 two times uh, um, every two weeks, I'm running like live streams where I'm um, talking about the API stuff, uh, different technologies called Kong Builders in the, on Kong YouTube channel. If you're interested in this type of jazz, Please join me and ask question live. Um, where is it? Where did you go? Where's my? 
Yeah. Um, and you can always uh, send me a tweet if you have any questions with regards of any type of APIs, including uh, gRPC as well. I have a different session on, on uh, gRPC stuff and how to yeah, build this up with Quonk and gRPC. Thank you so much for your time. My name is Victor Gamov, and as always, have a nice day.